Real innovations tonight, uh, and they varied from uh, those were going to be really helpful for patients and their carers and had a real set patient-centered care approach, right up to very high-level science and, and clinical interventions. Today we present to you Compact. This hospital is very good at delivering a very advanced form of heart-lung support called ECMO. So you can see it's a four, we have four units and with 52 bed spaces. I want to have a patient lounge that is comfortable and inviting. Mm. Now the money, that's the important bit. There's money to be made out of this. Don't worry about the rules, guys. Um, this is all just about the cash. Today we present to you Compact, which as you've heard is a customisable multilingual patient assessment communication tool. So we propose this app, which will be able to display text and play a recording of the phrase that we want to say, the most common phrases that we use in palliative care, in that person's native language. This is an offline iPad app which aids communication at the point of care. This hospital is very good at delivering a very advanced form of heart-lung support called ECMO. But we have a dirty secret. <laughs> and that is that our data collection efforts um, have not been good enough. This software which I'm talking about is called REDCAP as a centre for not only great ECMO practice, but uh, collaborative multi-department ECMO research. Our proposal is, as I say, quite low tech, but very simple, um, but we feel very effective, which is to put coloured lines on the floor. So you can see, it's a four, we have four units and with 52 bed spaces, which makes it quite a challenge for families when they come to visit. Also for patients who may be colourblind, what we hope to do is to number each of the lines into this and to help the families in the intensive care. I want to create a room which is comfortable and inviting. I want to be able to meet the needs of the patients, families and carers that we work with. I would paint the walls, I'd put in some cupboards and a bookshelf, I'd add a television, and then I'd put in all the resources that I could manage. And lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of kittens. <laughs> but for us, it's about going back to basics. We need to consider the holistic well-being of our patients, families and carers. And we believe this renovation will help RPA keep moving in this direction. I think, well, all of them show innovation and they obviously will show a lack of, of, of resource that we might have in all those areas. So um, I, if, I, if I could, I'd give money to all of them. I think they're all worthy presentations. So I think the wayfinding in ICU is a no-brainer. I think it actually reinforces that idea of, of the valuing of staff and recognising that the ideas are actually coming from the coalface um, to make a difference. So, so number one, and I should say that this was absolutely unanimous, uh, is the, the compact, the customisable multilingual assessment tool. Congratulations. Fantastic. <laughs> I think it is a unique opportunity because sometimes um, when you're a clinician, you don't see all of the mechanisms that go on behind the scenes and how to get your things put into practice. Number two, um, and, and Teresa's offered to sing the song, is I Walk the Line. <laughs> it's nerve-wracking, but it's not as bad as you think it's going to be. There it goes so quickly and it's, um, yeah, so I'd recommend for anyone to get up there and give it a go. Third prize, if you like, um, is for the ECMO project. I went to the Innovation Symposium myself last year and I was inspired to uh, apply this year. So I was in the audience thinking, I can do that. Yeah, and I did. And we've got three tough panellists and a tough chief executive. We locked the doors, we got her down on the ground, twisted her arm behind the back, and she's agreed that she's going to fund, from her own discretion, a labour of love. Wonderful. It's rather amazing, really. But yeah, I think we 
we both sort of thought maybe we'd um, missed out on the chance there at the end, but it was a lovely surprise.